A young and fidgety show director was a very scary, heavy-breathing, critical guy, actress Melody Thomas Scott reveals, to those who are young and restless. Very few people can provoke such an emotional response from her. Incredibly, Melody Thomas Scott has played Nikki Newman, a former stripper turned privileged socialite, for 43 of the young and the restless 50 years on the air. Though she is best known for her daytime roles, the actress has been active in the industry since she was quite young, therefore her resume includes many other roles. According to an interview she gave to Soap Opera Digest on a recent podcast, her grandmother first introduced her to the entertainment industry when she was three years old, and by the time she was four, she was already working professionally. Scott had somewhat of a gloomy home life, let's say that, she said of his childhood. She cherished her time spent acting and filming. She claimed that this was one of her happiest memories. If I could have spent the night on the soundstage floor, I would have, she said. Simply put, it was a welcome break from the stresses of life at home. It was too nice of an opportunity to pass up to be among what I considered normal people. Everyone on set was always extremely nice to me. The director, the assistant director, even Hitchcock himself, although I had already made that comment. Of course, the Hitchcock in issue is the one and only Alfred Hitchcock, the self-proclaimed master of suspense, Scott's first film role, as a younger version of Tippi Hedren's character Marnie, came when she was just eight years old, but she had already been acting for some time. He was just another filmmaker in Scott's eyes. For the longest time, I had no notion who Alfred Hitchcock was, in retrospect, it was clear that I was a child of the 80s. But she quickly recognized this man for who he was, and not in a good way. Marnie was a landmark debut for Hedron, Hitchcock, and Scene Connery. In any case, Scott didn't have a good time with it. Hitchcock was a genius. But he was not, according to many reports, a very kind person. Legend has it that Hitchcock once called performers cattle, but the director always denied this. Hedron, a longtime Hitchcock collaborator, is among those who have spoken out in recent years about Hitchcock's alleged abusive behavior against women. Although Scott avoided discussing these topics, she said coldly, I very quickly understood that he was a very terrifying, hard-breathing, critical guy, which a large percentage of people will accept at face value if I tell them. He was as expected in every way. He never cracked a smile and it was always clear what he wanted. It makes perfect sense coming from a man who consistently acted as if actors should just follow the director's and writer's instructions and memorize their lines. It's very different from daytime shows, where actors are encouraged to inject their own personalities into their roles, and who, after playing their roles for so long, frequently know their characters better than the directors and authors. Scott speculated, perhaps I didn't exactly get what he wanted because I was a kid. It was arduous. We had a challenging shoot. This dude is terrifying. 